Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Today I'll discuss about the preset which is the fall type preset. The main image was like that. I downloaded this image in from the pixels.com. If you want to get the download link, please check out my video description. But I made the gorgeous color by using my preset and I made that preset for you guys. So let's get started. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification. And don't forget to comment or like my videos. Okay, let's start. I'm deleting that portion. And this one is the main image. After that, press Ctrl or Command J by pressing. And um, I got the copy over there by uh, using like uh, one copy is good for me. And backup purpose, I made the another copy the which is the original. And now I'm going to the filter camera filter. My camera filter is updated. That is 12.3. If you are not using the 12.3, you can update uh, as like me or you can use the earlier version. But I'll suggest you to update your uh, camera filter. It's free and I'm providing the download link in my free description. And you'll get the all the panel same like me, it, which is convenient to work or um, like follow me. So here is small menu some small menus over there go to the load settings options and fall color i'll provide you that xmp file in my video description and load it up so after that you will get the instant changes in your photographs here is one thing um, if you are using uh, this type of uh, photo uh, you have to adjust uh, the lights according to your um, uh, preferences just because of this example photo or your photo could be not same but uh, you have to uh, adjust the, all the stuff so, but i will show you how to adjust that uh, before that uh, we'll discuss why we use this type of color and how i use that the temperature plus three that's why you are getting a little bit warmer and the tint minus eight the exposure plus 0.25 or 25 whatever it is contrast 17 that is the plus value highlights i made it down or you can give the highlight value according to your preferences actually this one is totally preference basis and i'm giving you the color but light shadow and uh, like exposure this is totally up to your convenient and photography lights uh, just because of this photography light and the, your photography not same or own same ever so shadow plus 24 when uh, whites that is plus one blacks minus 21 that's good and the texture zero and clarity minus 23 you are getting a little bit uh, like a uh, feathery over there and the vibrance that is my mid-tone and uh, it's uh, up uh, that is uh, plus 11 and the saturation 14 minus 14 actually okay fine let's go to the curves here i made the curves as well like that i do like two curves like that so if you want you can adjust all the curves like that so i'll Add over here the input value 255 and the output value 241 and the input value here 294 output value 183 and the input value 115 and output value 100 and input value 42 output value 42 and the zero input value and the output value 33 you can use according to like me or you can make it your own okay I didn't touch other like colors and let's go to the detailing option by default settings in the sub panels but here i am using the main settings that is 67 noise reduction 31 and the color noise reduction that is 25 and here is the mixture color mixture hue which color will be saturation percentage of the color luminance intensity of the color so in here uh, like i added some red uh, hue uh, into the orange type red and uh, you are getting the value that is plus 28 the orange i made it like a little bit uh, orange like deep orange which is uh, minus 13 and the yellow into just uh, down for the uh, orange type minus 60 and green plus 62 aqua 69 blue that is minus 9 and the saturation minus 8 uh, yellows that is minus 26 the green minus 80 aqua plus 45 blue plus 42 
and a luminance that is a plus 8 yellow plus 8 and a green minus 31 aqua plus 50 and the blue minus 8 that's good the split toning most important thing in the photo editing and the highlight color and shadow color uh, and uh, it depends totally the color grading depends uh, these three things that means the color mixture split toning and camera calibration these three thing if you are learning these three thing you are you will be the master in the camera like color grading in a photoshop so in a highlight portion i use the color value that is 51 the saturation 23 and the balance that is 19 and the hue of the, the like a uh, shadow that means the color of the shadow that is 2 to 1 and the saturation 18 that's good and optics geometry not i didn't touch that and the vignetting minus 11 and calibration i just added the red primary color that means value plus 23 saturation plus 5 green primary plus 6 and saturation minus 18 and blue primary plus 22 that's good and you are getting easily this type of effects in your photographs and hit the ok button so normal image to like normal image to creative type tone okay let's uh, uh like open up another type photo which is not like that but uh, this type of photo okay fine this photo i want to apply that preset that means the fall preset in this photo what is happening up there let's see go to the filter camera filter and then going to the load settings options and the fall color if i load it up over there you are getting the fall color over there in this portion you are not getting any kind of red over there you have to choose the red portion in your photographs which is uh, like uh, uh, here the red is prominent you have to choose the photo the red is prominent you can use any kind of red over there so let's go to the internet and find out some red type photo like a uh, girl So let's find it out some uh, red type uh, prominent color. Uh, it could be the uh, photo. So I'm taking that photo in this portion. Okay. And now I'm going to the Photoshop again, going to the file and open up. And this photo I'm inserting over there. Press Ctrl or Command J. Going to the filter, camera filter, and the load settings options, and going to the fall color. And load it up so you're getting the color like that in this portion you have to adjust the highlight so you have to give the highlight over there and white over there and the blacks it could be like that and you have to add the mixture or other stuff so like a color mixture and the saturation or luminance of the like orange and yellow like that and red like this and the saturation as well so you can mix up the color from here like exposure contrast blacks whites everything you can add just like that and hit okay so this color to this so you can use any kind of preset in your uh, photographs but you have to define the color prominent and the lights actually you have to adjust that so hope that you learned a lot from this video. If you did, please thumbs up and share to a friend. And if you have any kind of question, query, request, please do comment on my video comment section. Have fun. Be healthy. Until the next video, I am Insimani signing out today. Stay safe. Stay at home. Bye-bye.